गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड कोलीग्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुनील मारवा फ्रॉम गुड़गांव आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक समथिंग ऑन स्पेशल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ऑस्टियोप्रोटिक फ्रैक्चर्स व्हाट वी शुड डू सो दैट वी कैन गेट अ बेटर रिजल्ट आउट ऑफ इट now starting from the point 1 uh, when do we think that the patient has got an osteoporotic fracture all right now the first thing is that uh, when we see a patient if it's an female gender important above 50s we go into the history if the patient gives history of uh, uh, previous fractures or recurrent fractures oh so that's a pointer for us that is she osteoporotic so that's one point second looking at her cross examination if she has got a dorsal kyphosis that should alert us that uh, maybe she is parotic third uh, looking at the x ray visualizing the x ray gives us lots of appearances if a patient is osteoporotic yes uh, the things line were graded long back uh, as a definite marker of the osteoporosis but uh, looking at any x rays we can see the thinned out cortices and we can see that the bone looks more translucent uh, in an x ray or if you are seeing a spine we can uh, pick up the uh, end plate sclerosis and uh, by the 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 by fish mouth vertebra and all that so there are lots of thing we can pick up in the x ray which will uh, tell us that this patient is osteoporotic uh, and put a doubt in our mind and if we are in doubt and we we press the patient's metaphyseal area of the tibia and or of the wrist the patient winces with pain that's again a, a doubting for us that this could be an osteoporotic fracture now if you are sure and also the amount of trauma relevant to the type of the fracture so if it's a low trauma fracture which they say ke a fall uh, less than 6 inches of height and the patient has broken the wrist or the hip then it's a low trauma fracture so a low trauma fracture itself tells us that this is an osteoporotic fracture so all this should make us sensitize us towards a a osteoporotic fracture because then the management changes immediately now uh, if we diagnose it as an osteoporotic fracture we think and if the patient is in a condition to run a dexa scan then a dexa scan should be done which is controversial because uh, lots of people say that if the patient has an osteoporotic fracture which you are sure clinically and with the radiology and the type of the fracture then you don't need a dexa scan to prove it you have to treat the fracture but some people say no in the follow up of the uh, of the uh, dex of the patient's treatment if you have an initial dexa scan it helps us in long term monitoring of the patient of the type of the treatment and everything all right so uh, we uh, if it is possible and if you have the facility then doing a dexa scan helps us in uh, in documenting a thing and uh, something as a talking point to the patient and we know with who criteria, uh, uh, criteria that anything below minus 2.5 is osteoporotic but you can have a a a osteoporotic fracture with the bones with the bone density showing as osteopenia because most of the fractures of the hip take place in osteopenia zone but that's again a point to context because if we read carefully the dexa scan the hip area from where it goes is showing osteoporosis while the averaging score is not showing it's osteopenia so that's a false reading of the osteoporotic interpretation okay so once all right so we have confirmed this osteoporotic fracture then for us it's important to know whether it's a primary or a secondary osteoporosis if it's a, because the management becomes totally different so the blood tests come into play where the uh, the in the the multiple myeloma is a huge thing that we need to rule out anybody above 40 uh, looking uh, before starting the treatment for osteoporosis so that's what should be looked into of course routine uh, the uh, the 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 thyroid tsh the uh, the hemoglobins and all the serum calcium phosphorus alkaline phosphate pdh the vitamin d levels and all again and also you know, things like uh, rheumatology profile sometimes it required in a patient because that tells the severity of the problem in that patient uh, gives us some definite inclination on where we are in the same time 
uh, running a simple x-ray of the spine, lateral view of the dorsal spine and lumbar spine, we pick up number of kyphotic silent vertebra fractures. So that again is a, is a, is a, is a diagnostic criteria which helps us towards uh, saying the patient is osteoporotic. Okay, now we have made a diagnosis that the patient is osteoporotic and so the, 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 the treatment modality for the patient has to be different. The treatment modality for the patient in uh, are two. One is the medical management and one is the surgical management. So once we are aware the patient is osteoporotic, the surgical management makes us aware that we could be facing the problems during surgery. And also it tells us that which patient should not be operated, uh, which we can get away sometime with a better medical management. Now initially, uh, coming to the medical management, if we have a patient who is osteoporotic and a fracture, then there's no confusion. In, a, in the presence of a fracture in osteoporosis, we have to come in with combination treatment. That is either denosumab with the PTH or uh, zoldonic acid with PTH. Of course, the denosumab with PTH takes uh, is better uh, if the patient can afford it, of course. And uh, the, uh, the denosumab is to be given every six monthly and uh, the, the PTH has to be continued for 24 months. But before starting PTH, make sure that the multiple myeloma has been ruled out. For the denosumab, we really don't need anything. And if you're looking at zoldronic acid, certainly we must make sure that the renal GFR is all right because we can give zoldronic acid only if the GFR is all right. And then having started the osteoporotic treatment, you have to make sure that the patient understand that the osteoporotic treatment is lifelong. It is not something that we give during the period of osteoporosis or not and not otherwise. And the osteoporosis medical management can be started even before the surgical management <coughs> comes into place. So if it's all fine, then the, 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 the denosumab and PTH can be started the same day and while we are preparing for the surgery and everything. And then uh, as I told you, denosumab has to be given six monthly or if we are coming to zoldronic acid and yearly and PTH runs out its course in two years time. So this is what uh, is the medical management part. Of course, we have to make sure that we have given vitamin D, we have given the, 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 the calcium uh, supplement and all that. Uh, all that has to be in place uh, because if we have not topped up the calcium and the vitamin D and all, we are asking for trouble even when we are initiating the osteoporotic treatment. So all that has to be well contained and well treated and patients uh, should be made to understand that it's a lifelong management. Okay, so having started the medical management, the, uh, the osteoporotic treatment for the, uh, the type of fractures you face has to be given due consideration. For most of the spinal fractures, if they are not unstable variety uh, and without neurological deficits, most of them can be treated very well with simple medical management. In fact, they can be treated better with medical management alone. In some, you will need some support and other things. And in some, if there is a uh, uh, already a neurological deficit and or instability of fracture of spine, you need to sometime come in with the uh, inter intervention, operative intervention also. Okay, but less commonly. The uh, just generalizing on the fractures, the fractures of the upper end of the humerus, lots of them don't need uh, fixations. They can be treated with, with a sling and uh, cuff and collar slings. Doing radical surgeries in an osteoporotic bone, not really advisable and you can get, get away with very good results in the absence of surgery. For shaft, humor, shaft humerus fractures again, the sling method works very well, but in some unstable fractures you need to operate. But again, coming to fractures around the elbow, uh, uh, elbow uh, is a different uh, metal of thing and they need, most of them need uh, proper reduction and fixations. Coming to the forearm fractures, again, that's uh, most of them will need internal fixations. Coming to the lower end radius, scolies, no, most of them will not need. And all the ones that we do, uh, various kinds of plating and all, uh, have their own problems and they really don't need it. And we can get away with very good close reductions um, when they put a molded plaster, even without anesthesia. And so that's an overdue when you put in those special plates and all uh, in the presence of an osteoporotic bone. Lower limbs, the hips, most of them will need fixations, but uh, we know when there's an intra cap and all uh, osteoporotic fractures, we should get away with a prosthesis than with the fixations. So 
that's where the management changes if you know that the patient is osteoporotic similarly uh, coming to the sharp tumors lower limb most of them will need fixations the tibias again some of them can be treated conservatively some will need internal fixations the when the joint is involved like the knee then the intraarticular fractures most of them need uh, because they need perfect stabilizations they will need internal stabilizations the ankle fractures again the uh, if they are not uh, displaced or something and if it's only a lateral malleolar fractures and all lots of them can be treated conservatively but where it's a bimalleolar fracture trimalleolar they will need uh, fixations so the fixation part will depend on the type of fracture amount of fracture but do not forget the medical management if you forget the medical management the uh, we are giving a poorer result to the patient so that's my humble submission uh, learn to recognize the the osteoporotic fractures and make sure that you are coming in with the medical management with the surgical management okay thank you very much take care